Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. A North East cage fighter that was actually champion turned himself into a kingpin when he used his winnings and his connections to establish one of the biggest drug operations in the UK. 42 year old Darren Towler was said to be the mastermind behind a sophisticated operation that supplied Class A and Class B gear across the country. This included Bricks of H and also Coke, and this was the tune to millions of pounds. He was smuggling millions of pounds worth of gear from Merseyside to County Durham. So, during an investigation into other no-no seas, Darren Taylor's name was mentioned in encrypted chats. Now, County Durham then enlisted a covert team to monitor and build intel on Darren and his members that was led by the Specialist Crime Operations Unit. Now, the unit monitored Darren purchasing gear on industrial scale for hundreds of thousands of pounds at a time. Vulcan agents were brought and that was added to the gear in order to compound the bricks and it was then turned into millions of pounds on a street value basis. Burner phones, encrypted phones, meets at the side of laybys and cars to transport cash across the country was witnessed. At one time, it was said that Darren's people was travelling in a car that had £100,000 in cash in two shoeboxes. That was wrapped as birthday presents. Now, police say that Darren's men had made more than 10 trips between the North East and North West in a five-month period, dating back in 2017. Eventually, 11 of Darren's men were detained and interviewed before being charged with dealing and conspiracy offences. They appeared at Teesside Crown Court in October 2022. Now, Darren the Cage Fighter champion, Kingpin, was found guilty for conspiracy to supply coke and other gear. He also admitted other charges in relation to dealing and producing. However, he failed to appear in court, so he was sentenced to 24 years in his absence. Now, while Darren's team were involved in the proceeds of crime confiscation and the assets were being seized, Darren Towler was still missing and considered a wanted man who had the means to disappear. Now, police say that Darren benefited to the tune of £700,000 at the least from being a kingpin. Now, Darren, who was from Cosset, County Durham, was on the run for 18 months before he was eventually detained on a Serbian border. And of course, he will be brought to justice. Stay safe, safe.